quick update before quality, which is about to start in 45 minutes. Uh, we're looking in a good position, probably the strongest we've looked, you know, through a practice period. Uh, the track is flipping fast. Like, it's the first time, I, again, I've felt physically, like, I, I feel it through Maggie's Beckett's, from on the arms and stuff, it's really, really tough. But, um, yeah, feeling good. Final qualifying of the year. Uh, a sad, a sad time, really, because, yeah, final qualifying of the year. But, um, our call looks good. I think Jensen and Chris may be struggling a little bit more, but that's naturally going to happen because they've had less laps. So, uh, yeah, it's all a bit unknown. Uh, everyone, no one knows where everyone is yet, so it'll be interesting to see where everyone finishes up in quali. And, uh, yeah, and then we'll be on to race day tomorrow. car we're watching now though is going very very quickly James Baldwin second place at the moment half a second off pole but his middle sector is a purple his first and third sectors are personal best he's got the GTC Ferrari in front to give him a handy slipstream across the start finish line let's hope that didn't delay him too much through Luffield can this be a provisional pole position time no not quite but he halves the deficit to Rob Collard James Baldwin will consolidate second place in this session Okay, so a quick recap after quali. So as you can see on the results sheet, we are P4 overall. P2 for me in my uh, session, and Michael went a couple of attempts quicker in his and ended up P13. So overall we're P4, which is, is solid and fast as McLaren, so we can fight from there and win the race. There it is, the beauty. Um, struggling with the balance a little bit. We had a, I had a messy session with traffic. So, I mean, if we put a little bit more together, we would have found a couple of attempts, a few tenths overall. Which you know, it's not enough to get pole. So, yeah, a bit confused. I thought this this would be a McLaren track, you know, high speed corners, uh, heavy braking zones, but it is what it is. Um, and we move we move to tomorrow for the race where we can win, and we need to win to win the championship. So, yeah, there's no other two words really apart from send it. So, uh, yeah, can't wait.
cars accelerate up towards the timing line. The race director, Peter Daly, will give the signal if he's happy to get the cars released now, which he does. They blast away on the inside line. Down towards Cops Corner, it's going to be Rob Collard who breaks the later. He will grab the race lead ahead of Ian Loggy up into third place. Goes James Baldwin, but another good start being made by Lewis Proctor in the orange and black McLaren around the outside line there as the cars now blast their way up towards Beckett. And a really good move by Baldwin to go second, but it's Rob Collard who is going to lead them for the first time out of Beckett. And now, try and get his head down and see whether he can build a gap over the McLaren Andy on that one. Yeah, well, what a start from James Baldwin. Full attack mode here. They'll be quite glad it's dry, I think. They've struggled a bit in the wet this year, have the Jensen Team Rocket RJN squad. I notice Chris Buncombe's gained a few spots as well in the sister car to the back of the grid. It's Collard that leads. Baldwin on the attack, looks for the inside at Stone Corner. Couldn't quite make it work. sister car for Jensen Team Rocket RJN. So James Baldwin started, Michael O'Brien has done the lion's share, James Baldwin gets back on board. Right, out goes uh, Sandy Mitchell, here comes O'Brien, this is it then for the race lead, uh, and uh, can the McLaren sweep through? The Lamborghini I think was quite a long way down the pit lane, it's got a relatively short run to come to the pit lane exit, I reckon that Mitchell might just be able to hang on, but it's not going to be a big margin. Where is the Lamborghini? There is the Lamborghini, it's very, <laughs> very close indeed, Michael O'Brien's only going to be a second or so behind. end of the day, the end of the season, uh, we finished third today on the podium, another podium, so it's, so it's a solid result. I think we did a few things differently, we would have probably, we, we could have won the race, but I mean hindsight is a beautiful thing, um, and I'm, I'm kind of sad the season's over, I'm not going to lie, uh, spending it with these boys behind me, uh, pleasure, Jensen Team Rocket RJN have been a great team for me, uh, with Michael, the world's fastest game have given me the support. Uh, I've needed to perform on track and off track. Oh, I'm just kind of gutted it's over. Well, hopefully it's not the end though, hopefully there is more to come. Uh, I'm improving, I still need to learn a lot, not going to lie. But the, the underlying pace seems to be there, so yeah, I don't know what 2021 holds. I'm going to work hard to try and make sure I'm on the grid, hopefully in a progressive way, so we're doing a, a bigger championship. But yeah, thank you for all following the journey and uh, have a good night.